I really don't like making videos about this, which is the thing that YouTubers say when they make a video about something. It's always a really sad situation when you see a YouTuber that you look up to or watch any of their content leave the platform. This can be a multitude of reasons. They don't enjoy the content anymore, maybe health problems. Well, recently there actually has been a YouTuber, a very big YouTuber called Mitten Squad, who actually passed away. Now, originally I heard about this situation and I held off on it a little bit because I couldn't actually verify whether it was true or not. It was just a lot of comments and, you know, people telling me without any kind of proof. And unfortunately, there are always a lot of death hoaxes about people passing away when in reality they didn't. But the best way to tell if it is fake, the YouTuber will come out themselves and be like, guys, nope, I actually am alive. This isn't a hoax. But unfortunately with Mitten Squad, that really isn't the case and he actually has passed away. Now, if you haven't heard of Mitten Squad, you've probably seen one of his videos before. He's a very big YouTuber having around 1.4 million subscribers. And essentially his main content, his most popular content was playing through Bethesda games, basically handicapping himself. So for example, beating Fallout 4 without a Pip-Boy. The next obstacle was the vault door. You need a Pip-Boy to open it. And I don't have a Pip-Boy. Turns out that's a lie because this is what happened. I assure you that I was as confused and surprised as you are. Or beating Skyrim using only shouts. I was taking the buckets upstairs for some alone time when Ingrid got in the way. She saw me stealing her buckets, but they were always mine though, even if she didn't know it. I made my way to every building in Morthal, taking what was mine by birthright and killing all those who got in my way including three guards in the middle of town for all to see. One of my personal favorites is him beating Skyrim using only a fork. Up there, I found a neato pickaxe, mined some rock, and when I tried to pull out my fork, the game crashed. Too much power, I suspect. On my way to Ustengrav, I encountered a dragon and poked him as hard as I could with my fork didn't do much. Now, this really goes to show the amount of effort that Mitten Squad actually put into his content. The fact that he would have to play through Bethesda games multiple times, that on its own deserves some kind of medal. Because I don't know about you, but I usually go through the phase of installing a Bethesda game. Maybe it's Skyrim, maybe it's Fallout 3. I play 10 minutes of it, even with like a thousand mods, and I'm like, this sucks. This is really boring. But the fact that he has played through each Bethesda game dozens of times, that's Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4, Skyrim, He'd also play other games as well, like for example, beating the entirety of GTA 5 using only a pistol. And again, GTA 5, the single player, is a very, very long game, even looking past the side content. Now here comes that twist I've been avoiding telling you about. There's a pistol in GTA 5, but there are also pistols in GTA 5. Other semi-automatic handguns with pistol in their name, and I bought one. As usual, if you think that invalidates the challenge, there's a dislike button with your name on it. He also touched on other games, like for example, beating the first Bioshock game using only a wrench, which is, I, I need to point out, incredibly hard to do, especially late game if you're playing on like hard difficulty or something. Because in the early game, enemies go from like being able to one tap them in the head to basically having to shoot them with about 500 rounds of ammunition, and then you've probably only done half their health. He'd also play through other Rockstar games. I mentioned GTA, but for example, Red Dead Redemption, playing through the entire game using only the Cattleman revolver, which is like the starting pistol. I like how I can imagine people pointing out in the comments that, oh, he said pistol, not revolver. But yeah, that is pretty much the kind of content he made. And that was a huge endurance run to be able to play through the same game multiple times, a sandbox RPG game that takes, you know, tens of dozens of hours to finish just to have a single gimmick. Now, there is one sad fact about Mitten Squad and the fact that he's been very open about this isn't private information. He was a massive alcoholic. Now, I was kind of hesitant on talking about this situation with his alcoholism, but I think it's fair to because he has publicly put it out in great detail, you know, how he suffers from it, almost as if documenting it and to basically warn other people to not go down the same path as him. So if you've watched any of Mitten Squad's content, you might have looked at his community page on YouTube or even his Twitter. And you'll notice that, you know, sometimes he takes a long hiatus from his content. Now, these videos themselves would take a while to make it anyway. I think his upload schedule was around once a month. But if you go onto his channel, you'll see that he hasn't uploaded in well over a year. And obviously his passing was only recently. So from what Mitten Squad would talk about on his community notes and on his Twitter, basically he was a struggling alcoholic and would drink copious amounts of alcohol. If you look at his community notes, for example, he was going on to say that at his worst, he was 
was drinking just under two liters of rum every single day. And that is like 80 proof rum. After drinking the excessive amount of alcohol, he was rushed to the emergency room. And apparently he blew a 0.35 on his blood alcohol level. And keep in mind as well that 0.4 and anything above pretty much will kill you. And then he also goes on to say that he got put in arm restraints, leg restraints, and also had to wear like an adult diaper. And he even goes on to say, obviously that was for his age being 26 incredibly embarrassing. And then also he goes on to say that doctors basically said there was a less than 50% chance that he would survive the night. Thankfully he did. He did have, you know, insane blood pressure and stuff, but it, it seemed like he was on the road to recovery because he went on to say that he has took a long hiatus because keep in mind this community post was a year ago and he said, I'm not taking another one. I'm going to come back and make some content. And then only three weeks ago, he actually made a final post on his community notes on his channel. He goes on to say happy Thanksgiving and, you know, there's been some rumors going around that he might have died and he has been drinking a lot less going from blacking out from two to three times a week to maybe two to three times in the last month obviously that is still not good but for an alcoholic that's a huge improvement now this is why there's been a lot of misconceptions because you'll see like a lot of videos talking about mitten squad and how he passed away and you'll see some comments saying no he's actually not dead he addressed it himself this is where people are getting this from a three week old community post and people are acting like he's still alive and this is all a hoax it's also a really sad reading the community post because you can see that he's like really eager to make content again basically saying there's going to be a video out soon maybe it'll be next year maybe it'll be next month and then he goes on to you know thank his subscribers that the mitten squad now pretty much the biggest confirmation that mitten squad did pass away is if you go on his subreddit there's a link to an obituary from molnar homes here you can see a picture of Mitten Squad named Joseph, and that is definitely Mitten Squad because in some of his earlier videos and content, he did actually show his face. So the picture matches up and it is unfortunately him. Now, people are wondering how he passed away. I've seen some people parrot that he got pancreasitis from his heavy drinking. And, you know, he has been very open about his alcoholism. But overall, it's it's really sad. I mean, even his subreddit, they, they really tried to find some kind of shred that this was a hoax. But unfortunately, it really just doesn't seem to be the case. And he has passed away. Now, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I was a huge fan of Mitten Squad and I never missed an upload. I was part of the notification gang. But occasionally, I did watch some of his videos, you know, just kind of his background noise and stuff. Because essentially, the content was playing through a Bethesda game while narrating everything he did, usually having a certain loadout or a certain weapon, handicapping himself. But it really does suck to see. I mean, this was a YouTuber that obviously had a huge following, you know, 1.4 million subscribers but unfortunately he did have a problem with drugs i'm gonna link his channel down in the description because if you've never watched any of his content before you definitely should check it out i mean he does make really good videos and like i said earlier the endurance run of having to play through an entire bethesda game multiple times like i i finished skyrim once i never want to touch that game again but yeah rest in peace mitten squad you made amazing content